Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is a 2025 game which is running on the Cry Engine. And these are the game's minimum system requirements. And if you didn't know, I previously made a video on boosting the performance of Kingdom Come Deliverance 1. So if you haven't watched it yet, make sure to check it out. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to maximize performance in this game. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm going to run the game using my integrated graphics. So I've set the screen resolution to 720p. V-Sync is disabled. And the frame rate limit is at 144 frames per second. And under resolution scaling tab, I've enabled FSR with its mode set to performance. Additionally, both motion blur and near depth of field quality are disabled and all advanced graphics settings are configured to the lowest preset. So now let's see how the game performs with these settings. The game remains somewhat playable, with frame rates that aren't too bad. However, if you're still facing lag or stuttering, stick around until the end of this video because I have plenty of optimizations to share. Before we move on, I've created a No Shadows mod that delivers a massive performance boost. This mod doesn't just remove shadows, it also lowers or disables various settings, including volumetric clouds, shaders, vegetation quality, and texture quality, among others. Now let's exit the game and apply this mod. First, download the mod file from the video description. After downloading, extract it and copy the engine.pack file into the game directory, specifically in the Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 folder, and then into the engine folder, replace the original engine file with the modified one. It's highly recommended to back up the original engine file before replacing it, so you can easily restore it if anything goes wrong. Once you've done everything, let's test the game and see the results. As you can see, the shadows are completely disabled, and several things like volumetric clouds, shaders, vegetation quality, and more have been lowered or turned off. The FPS is definitely higher, especially when I'm not recording, but stick around because I have more to show you. If you want to squeeze out even more performance, you can use this ultra-low graphics mod. This mod will downgrade the game to the most basic visuals and provide an insane FPS boost. Simply download the mod, extract it, and you'll find an auto-exec file. Copy that file into the Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 game directory. Once done, you're all set. Let's check out the game again. I definitely recommend using both mods together, as they will provide a massive boost in performance. You can really see the difference in the FPS, the game typically requires at least 6 GB of VRAM to run, but here I am, playing it with just 512 MB of VRAM using my integrated graphics. Pretty impressive, right? So guys, that wraps up today's video. If you found this video useful, then make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your low-spec friends so they can also enjoy playing Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 on their low-end systems as well. And I'll catch you all again in the next video. So, until then, take care and bye. Fortuna, al dentes fortuna you vas. <laughs> See now, there's the Henry I know and love. Well, enough of the chat. Trotsky's almost within reach. Uh -huh. How's it looking there in the back? All good, oh. Just keep your